What's up guys? Survivor Man Pro here, coming at you with another Epic E-Tech weapon in my Epic E-Tech Weapons Guide. Today we're going over our Gazillionth E-Tech Pistol. That's right, our Gazillion. It Not really Gazillionth, but there is quite a bit of E-Tech Pistols. Anyways guys, today we're going to be going over the Bandit Dart. Uh, the prefix on this one I think is the homing, yeah, it's the homing Bandit Dart. The specs on this thing, the damage is 418,935 times 2, accuracy is 79.4, fire rate is 2.1, reload speed is 3.0, magazine size is 84, electric damage per second is 141,047.4, chance to shock is going to be 14.4%, has a 2.2 times weapon zoom, and consumes 4 ammo per shot. That's I've usually seen two with these, four is a lot, and it does make a difference because I did run out of ammo recording uh, the gameplay. Uh, a couple times and I had to go get ammo and I edited it out because I was a little bit annoyed with it So yeah, anyways, this is a shock version. I'm not the fondest of shock But hey, you take what you get when it's an e-tech because it's kind of hard to just go sit go farm for a specific e-tech um, Anyways guys, I ended up picking this one up in the Sir Hamelot vs. the Son of Cromerax DLC I have a neat little chest farming method that I do there um, I have made guides on how to farm this chest efficiently in the past, and I will leave a link in the description of where you can find those. It shows proof of me getting legendaries, pearlescents, e-techs, and purples out of the chest. So, um, hopefully you guys will check those out. Maybe you guys could, uh, you know, check out my Twitter let me, or, and send me some pictures of some uh, of these weapons you get out of these chests. That would be awesome. And hopefully you guys have some luck, you know, doing this. Anyways, guys, next I'm going to do, uh, what am I doing? What's going to go on next here? I can't remember. I'm commentary over the footage, so I can't remember, guys. Anyways, guys, I'm pretty sure, yeah, I'm just going into, uh, I'm going to show you some gameplay with it. While this is going on, I'm going to read you some stuff from the wiki about these, uh, E-Tech pistols. This is, a, this is specifically the dart. There's two types of E-Tech pistols, the darts and the spikers. The darts here... Pearl projectiles that ricochet off surfaces but stick to enemies. Projectiles will home in on targets either when aimed at the crosshairs or failing that if the projectile travels within a certain range of a live enemy. Um, this specific bandit um, um, dart, this specific bandit dart is a homing one. So when you zoom in, that's when it uh, you can you can see that it's homing in. Like it has a little home in thing on it. It's kind of like a heat seeking missile thing, you know, like. You, on MW2 when you like look into the the scope and then it like goes on to the you know the Harriers and then it starts to go bleep, 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 when you lock in on a character or whatever it is so they're kind of like heat seeking so it's kind of cool um, uh, one thing that I have not been saying about these E-Tech pistols is really interesting and it's really important to know about these these pistols shoot projectiles that are slow moving um, stick to enemies and explode after a delay. That's the spikers. There is no immediate feedback regarding whether a shot has hit since the damage number only pops up when the round explodes. There's there's a delay even on the darts. The darts explode when they they hit, but there's still a, like a really short delay. Um, and important, uh, yeah, uh, note is that the their damage statistics are often. Uh, offset by the fact that neither type of weapon is able to cause critical hits. Um, so even though these weapons have high damage, like when, when you see me doing these E-Techs, they seem to have high damage rates, but the problem is you, it's impossible to get critical hits with them. So they're not as good as people make them out to be in some cases. So just keep that in mind. Anyways, guys, I like these. I like bandit darts. Well, I like bandit weapons just in general. I think they look interesting, coolly cool. I like the barrel the barrel drum uh, clip on the side of these things, so they're really cool. And it looks kind of like an alien gun, so I enjoy this one, and I like the scope on this one. Um, it's not the most efficient gun to use for running and gunning. And I do have this set up on a pistol build, so I have it set up on a pistol build. I have a good slag. Uh, I'm using magic missiles and a grog nozzle with it to get that extra slag damage. And I have a B shield on so I can get that amp damage if my shield ever gets up. I'm in OP8, so that's a rare occurrence. But I'm giving this thing all the chances it could get. I even have a Bone of the Relics on there, or whatever it is, that uh, ups my uh, um, electric damage per second. So it's getting the best you. It's getting the best I could show it as. Um, anyways, guys, this is going to be the end of this video. This has been the Bandit Dart.
Hope you guys enjoyed it. Leave some uh, likes, some rates. Go ahead and subscribe and whatnot. I don't know. If you guys didn't like it, let me know in the comments, and I'm going to head on out.